Champion Allison is back. At the 2024 New Balance Indoor Grand Prix, Champion Allison ran 46.23 seconds in the 400 meter dash. Now on the surface, you may say that wasn't a great performance. That's not a time that would be competitive for a medal in any capacity, but putting this in context, this was actually Champion's 10th fastest indoor 400 meter time of his entire career, which says a lot considering he's a 400 meter specialist. This time comes on the heels of Champion getting injured in 2023 and sitting out for pretty much the entire season. Champion was one of the top athletes coming out of the NCAA and cemented himself as one of the best quarter milers in history. And after a few major life changes last year, he's now back on the track and looks to be headed in the right direction. So let's quickly take a look back at Champion's career to understand his potential as we look forward to the 2024 Olympic year. Originally from Texas, Champion went on to attend the University of Alabama in the fall of 2017. In his freshman season, he showed some potential with his sixth place finish in the 400 at SECs and falling just a few spots short of qualifying for the NCAA championships. Now, both his sophomore and junior years were cut short first due to injury, then due to the pandemic in 2020. But in 2021, Champion came back stronger than ever and started to display his true potential. During the 2021 indoor season, Champion broke 46 seconds for the first time running 45.99 at the Tyson Invitational and followed it up with a 45.97 at SEC indoors and capped it off with a 45.79 at the NCAA Indoor Championships where he finished sixth place his first ever appearance at the championships. Outdoors, he took it a step further, running times of 45.40, 4.3, and 5.5, eventually ending the season running the semifinals at NCAA championships. But despite this clear growth, development, and a clear path to a future at the top of the NCAA, Champion would hit his first roadblock. Things weren't working out exactly as he planned in Alabama, and so in the summer of 2021, Champion entered the NCAA transfer portal. Now, just for a bit of context, the NCAA the NCAA Transfer Portal is an application database and compliance tool used to manage and facilitate the process for student athletes who are looking to transfer schools. Its overall goal is to essentially bring transparency to the process so that both athletes as well as the schools are aware of the entire process. So now that Champion was in the portal, you would expect him to get picked up pretty quickly, right? Sixth place at the NCAA indoors, personal best of 45.4 seconds outdoors, one of the top rising athletes in the country at that point. Champion did eventually transfer to the University of Florida, but he was unable to begin working with the team in the fall of that year. Champion returned home to Texas for the summer and the fall of 2021. He was literally taking classes, training, and coaching on his own for that fall, and essentially finding ways to keep up that amazing fitness and talent that he displayed in the winter and the spring. He did end up working with his high school coach for a bit to support him during that time that he was off. I entered the transfer portal in July of last year. Uh, because of that, I was sent home for, for the fall semester to take classes, work, and train on my own, so I didn't really have no coach, and I was at home training by myself, and my high school coach and my trainer, and I got with Coach Holloway in January, and the rest was history. Things would completely shift as Champion would begin working with Coach Mike Holloway in January 2022. This move changed everything. In his first 400 meter race as a Gator, Champion ran 45.92 seconds. He then followed that up with a massive personal best of 45.04 to become SEC champion indoors, an accomplishment he finally got to after three attempts while at Alabama. Though he tragically didn't finish at the NCAA Indoor Championships, little did he know that he would go on to have the greatest season of his career. A personal best of 45.16 seconds to open up his outdoor season may have been a shock to the world, but was only the beginning as both Champion and Coach Mike Holloway knew exactly what he was capable of. That eventually led to a huge drop down to 44.74 seconds to win the SEC outdoor title in the 400. This showed that Champion was not only looking for an All-American spot or even a top three spot, he was very much in the conversation for winning the NCAA outdoor title in the 400 meters. Well, at those NCAA championships, Champion ran 44.29 seconds in a close race with indoor champion Randolph Ross, proving that Champion was a true threat as they entered the final. In that final though, Champion ran 44.41 seconds for second place. He finally made a name for himself and proved that he belonged with the best in the world. But he was not finished. Just two weeks later at the 2022 USA Championships, Champion dropped a bomb running 43.70 seconds for second place and qualifying to compete at the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon. 
That time also made him the 10th fastest person in the history of the 400 meter dash. So in just a few years, Champion went from sitting at home, not having a school to compete for, training on his own, taking classes on his own, to now being amongst legendary names like Steve Lewis, Lee Evans, LaShawn Merritt, and a plethora of others who have broken the 44 second barrier. At those 2022 World Championships in Eugene, Oregon, Champion went on to finish fourth place in the 400 meter final, just missing a podium spot, but he did later run anchor on the gold medal winning 4x4 for the United States. Yeah, I mean, it made me feel good about myself. I mean, my first world, I almost medaled. So next time it'll be the different coming around. Again, considering where he came from and the circumstances that he went through, if this is not the definition of a true champion, then I don't know what is. But now as we transition into 2023, Champion was unfortunately hit with some injuries and had to sit out for the entire season, missing the opportunity to potentially compete at his second world championships in Budapest. Um, the setback was mainly me trying to adjust from being a collegiate to being a professional. Um, we deal with a lot of things when that during that transition and it just, you deal with pressure and people on your back and the best thing to do is just stay focused and stay close to God and trust the process. But even more importantly, Champion decided to leave Florida and move back to Texas, specifically back home to Houston. But this time he would not be on his own like when he entered the transfer portal back in 2021. He would now be training under coach Vince Anderson, one of the most legendary coaches in the game, both in the NCAA and on the pro ranks. Um, it was a smooth transition that I sat down, talked with Holloway, and he was okay with me going to train with Vince Anderson, as people know, probably one of the best coaches in collegiate history and professional history. And it was, I love my new group, Trainer Bryce Deadman, receivers Louds, and we push each other, and coaches, he, he pushes us to be particular on certain things we do and growth and he's there spiritually and he's just a, a, good, a good man all around. And as we can see at the top of 2024, he is back and looking ready to return to form. Opening up first with a 60 meter dash in Texas, followed by his 400 meters in Boston, Champion has a new outlook on what the future holds for him. New coach and training environment, but same drive and same hunger. Man, man, man. It was, it was a big challenge. Um, it was a big challenge, but overall, I looked at it as motivation. Um, I seen all my training partners and some of my friends competing at the high level, getting medals at the, at the top level of the world status. And it, to be honest, it made me just sit back and realize, okay, what am I doing, what I'm here for, and who am I, and how much hard work I gotta put in to get back on the level I was coming out of my collegiate career. Champion Allison is easily one of the greatest 400 meter sprinters, not only in the country, but in the world. And if the past is any indication of what to expect, I would not be surprised to see him on the Olympic team this summer and standing on the podium in Paris with a medal around his neck. Thanks for watching. Man, it means a lot. Like I said, like last year, I had to sit out and watch my friends have fun on the track, get medals. And I was like, dang, I wanted to be a part of that. So this year I'm just, here to have fun and stay focused and trust the process and stay close to God.